What's up guys, Lucas here, back with another video, and this is everything you need to know about the Chi clock. So huge shout out to Kubos.com for sponsoring today's video and sending me this cube. I'm one of the first few people to actually get my hands on this and make a video. So I hope you guys are excited. So I'll try to make my best to explain everything you need to know about this cube, including some solves and a short review in the end. So let's get into it. Here is the packaging. It's actually really fancy. It's very simple and minimalistic. Here's what it looks on the back. And yeah, this is the clock. It looks like you get some sort of stand. So let's get into it. So as you may know, this is the brand new Qi clock by Qi. This clock has been teased for like four years, so we're finally getting it. So it's now available at kubos.com for $29.99. And you can also use the discount code lucas 5 for 5% off your entire order. So make sure you do that if you're getting any cube at kubos.com. Move this out of the way, we got some collector cards and a pamphlet, so nothing interesting there interesting facts about the designer jim zhang and yeah there's another collector card nothing special here so it comes with the stand that you can just take off it's not a special just a plastic piece here's what the cube looks like it has a black pieces and the background is white and on the opposite it's basically the opposite the red markers for the 12 and yeah let's do some first turns so these pins are really satisfying to turn, they snap into place real quick and real smooth. Whoa. Alright, so I can definitely notice that there is a huge difference. I was expecting this from other clocks. As you can see, I'm not the best clock solver, but as you can see, I'm turning like really quick. It doesn't lock up, it doesn't catch, and it's actually really smooth and really satisfying to turn. So these cubes come with 200 magnets and you would wonder why you would use 200 magnets in a cube. It's a clock, there should be magnets around the pins, though should it be more than 16. But there's 200 because in each of these like places of the wheel, there is a magnet. So when you're turning the wheel, it's actually really smooth and it snaps into place, making it much more precise. So that is a huge design benefit. So yeah, let's compare it to the Lingao clock for a second. This is probably the worst clock you can ever get. So if you want to lube this cube, it's much easier since you only got the screws. You can just screw them out instead of actually having to break the plastic, which is very inconvenient. The colors are of course different, but here the turning is just so rough and uncomfortable and it's really unprecise. So if you're turning just a bit more, it's much harder to overturn on this cube because of the magnets in the wheel, which is a huge benefit. I don't know what else to say about this cube. I'm not really into clock. I actually hate clock. So uh, enjoy my solves as I talk a bit more about what I think of it and how it feels to actually use. As you might see, I'm not the best clock solver, but I'll still do my best. The turning is smooth and nice out of the box, but I find it to be a bit too fast, but it's not so fast that it becomes an issue. The magnets, however, are probably the best strength not too weak so that the pins move just because you touch them, and not too strong so that you have to press hard or turn in an uncomfortable way. The small magnets in the gears make turning much more precise and enjoyable than other clocks. To be honest, I now see a legit reason to keep clock as a WCA event. Before, not many people could get their hands on a decent clock. They needed a lot of modification to actually make them good. But now, that's not the case. The Qi clock, however, comes in at quite a bit more than other clocks, $29.99 to be exact. However, I think it's worth it. It's great out of the box, doesn't need any loop, and if you were getting another clock, you would probably have to buy some loop for it. It's also easy to loop because you don't have to break the plastic, which could risk breaking the cube. Overall, this is simply put the best clock you can get. Again, special thanks to Kubos.com for sending me this cube. This video would not be possible without them. I'll link them below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, hope you learned something, and also give me your thoughts about if clock should stay as an event. Make sure to like and subscribe for more awesome videos every single week. Thank you for watching, catch you guys in the next one, bye.